All right, well, we had a beautiful day for a while. Uh, you know, wanted to get outside and enjoy the sunshine, and then some areas getting some rain. rain. Today, Which right? is what you we know, needed. Hit and miss. I, I feel like we're in Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's, a good, that's a good way to say it. Just some storms popping up across central Indiana. It's nice and cool there yeah. in that creek, though. Uh, and that, <laughs> I would suggest finding a spot like that here <laughs> as we have uh, the hottest air yet to come. And I think what I'm going to show you on radar here in just a moment is probably the widest coverage we're going to have. And it's not saying a whole lot, but uh, yeah, I had someone tweet me from around Bargersville saying I had uh, about an inch and a half of rain. <laughs> well, radar rain estimates showing that. Yeah, there were some several big storms uh, centered over Johnson County. Uh, these are radar rain estimates, but you can see it's hit and miss. Um, but man, uh, some of these storms producing inch plus hour rain rates. So we'll take whatever we can get because again, what you're seeing on live Doppler 13 radar probably will be our best chance uh, over the next seven to possibly 10 days. Uh, you can still see some good rain there from Franklin near Nineveh and not too far from Shelbyville. And we've got some pockets of downpours as well around Frankfurt, just east of Kokomo uh, near Gas City. So good luck. Uh, between now and say nine o'clock, we'll have some hit and miss downpours but the trend will be uh, easing closer we get to sunset because these are all heat driven and we still have some heat. Upper 80s still showing up there in Muncie and Richmond where you haven't had rain. Tomorrow likely a little bit hotter than today. It's still going to be humid. We're going slight storm chance. Today we were thinking 30 to 40 percent and I think that verified. Tomorrow just about a 20 percent shot. As we get into Friday, the wind from the east northeast, it won't be as humid it will be hotter because dry air heats up more efficiently than muggy air. And then as we get into Saturday, we are expecting temperatures uh, to stay in the 90s. So Friday, Saturday are two hottest days in the seven day forecast. Still above average on Sunday, but it won't be the real muggy heat. Uh, plenty of sunshine around. As we go into next week, I think it cooled down just a bit here. Mid 80s for Monday, lower 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Keep tabs on radar if you have evening plans, and we'll keep you updated here on Channel 13 as well.